It's not your imagination No, you're not black American You wonder why they call you Jamaican When you're above all the other nations It's not your imagination Welcome to Four Corners News. That's right, where truth speaks. I am Captain the Card to my left, Captain Severus, and to his left, Officer Azanai, and to my right, Officer Daniel, and to his right, Officer Lyle. And, and we, we make up Four Corners News. That's right. All Thank right. you for tuning in to right. Four Corners News. All praise to the Most High. Life lasted another week. We That's can bring right. you some more news right. from a biblical standpoint show you that the bible is a true book that's right that's right 100 percent truth right. hey um so they out here you know every every once in a while the reparations talk get to to rise it up every time uh black people think they got a white savior oh it's about that time again yeah huh? yeah they start talking about reparations yeah, so yeah. Uh, they done brought it back up with Biden. Mm, um, so Obama got in on the um, the discussion about reparations. reparations Let's see mm. what this black man said about reparations. Now jump, don't jump to the, on the title because he's going to explain himself once we get <laughs> to the article. Let's pull it up. Hey, uh, let's read that. Obama says reparations justified. Reparations justified. Now when I first read that, I was like, what the hell? He talking about like. You know, the right to vote, reparations has been fulfilled. What is he talking about? So I had to read the article, right? Uh, make sure we got our facts right and all of that. So let's go jump into the article and see what he's talking about. Former President Obama said earlier this week that the case for reparations for black Americans is justified. So he said it is justified. The okay. case of, why is he saying that? Read on. Uh, Yep, right there. But he added that the politics of white resistance. Hold on, the what? The politics of white resistance. The politics it of is. white resistance. It is. You know what, what that means, politics of white resistance? We don't want you niggas to never there have nothing. Damn. <laughs> Ever. Well, they, yeah. they promised you 40 acres and a mule. Right. Remember, every time he tried to push something, and he 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 thought something. Yeah, he he was met with resistance. Yep. You right about Come that? Come on now. Yeah, they yep. fought they fought us tooth and nail for everything. Yeah. Black hey, president. But the only thing they didn't fight him for was gay rights. There Bring it go. out. Right. There you go. Right. They let gay rights. Oh, uh, right. uh, what was that? How many was it? Like two, three hundred people in the Senate? Maybe yeah. I don't know what it was. Uh, uh, two hundred and two votes. Yay, one vote nay. That's it. It went right through. <laughs> it went trash. through the, the House. It mm -hmm. went through the Senate. And it went into law. Quick. Mm. Yeah. They didn't fight him on that. But give Negroes money. White resentment. Because right, mm. they know that stuff is detrimental to their people. Yeah. So he said, oh, okay. Y'all got that crazy stuff going on? Go ahead. Let it go. But anything that's supposed to push... The black family? No, hey, no, no. Pull no, no. up, Destroy pull up that. at while we wait at, uh while we read this article. Pull up at Dave Chappelle reparations skip. Oh yeah, here we go. Man. Go back to go. the article. <laughs> oh, here you go. Go back to the article, man. Let's read that. Crazy thing. Is uh, true. Read that. Uh, it said, "What does it say?" Uh, what, uh, resentment and it says politics of white resistance and resentment. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Among other issues, made the prospect of pursuing the issue. During his presidency, a non-starter. He got mm. so much. So this is going back what you saying, Captain mm -hmm. Severus. He got so much pushback. You two of us today. He got so much pushback from them white folk. He's like, shit, I ain't even talking about no money. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't right. even going to break up no right. money with right. these right. white folk for them. Right. Right. Yep. Let me just get him a free cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> can I give my phone? Can I give my people a cell phone? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can give them a insurance. Yeah, give them a burner phone so they can go sell more drugs. We can lock them up yep. and you know we'll Track make money right. from them on the back end. Right. Mm -hmm. Even he had Biden speak for him at certain times. It was Biden and uh, I know uh, Hillary was a uh, sec so Secretary uh, of Defense, sec Secretary of State of State. Yeah, yeah. So, so he so. let he put them in the forefront yeah, at yeah. certain times. He was like, like hey, yeah, go hey, ahead and talk. Go, come on, Hillary. Help a brother out, man. <laughs> it was that bad. It was like that. that bad. They back at the Oval oh, Office. Obama man. like, 
Just hey, slide her come on, policy. Sleepy, sleepy Joe, wake up, man. <laughs> Go out there and oh, tell man. these white folk, man, that it's going to be all right, man. <laughs> all right. Damn. Come tell on. them to quit talking about my wife for Only one? send the damn National Guard <laughs> right, over. Right, right, <laughs> right. Damn. No, because they used to talk bad about uh, Michelle Obama, man. Oh, they used to talk oh, they bad roasted, about They roasted her, that system. All the I'm time. Yeah, yeah, hey, go back to the article. Let's read that. Uh, let's read that. Go ahead. So, if you ask me theoretically, are reparations justified? The answer is yes. The former president said in an episode on he and Bruce Springsteen's new renegades, born in the USA, podcast that launched on Spotify earlier this week. There's not much question that the wealth of this country. There's not much question. So everybody knows this. The wealth of this country was what? That the wealth of this country, the power of this country, was built in significant now, part. Now mm. I, he, it was built in significant part. Mm. Now he he called himself like, okay, hell, I can't say I can't say no truth like right. that for right. real because they're gonna take the Secret Service right, away right. from me. <laughs> right. Let me let me <laughs> let me water it down some. Right. Go ahead, go to it. Not exclusively, maybe not even the majority of it. Look, look at yeah. that. That's watered down. Yeah. Yeah, but a good. large portion of it was built on the backs of slaves. Read that again. But a large portion of it was built on the backs of slaves. Built on the backs of he watered Damn. it down. That not he exclusively, maybe not even a majority yeah. of it. That's the watered down. That's the milk in your coffee. Bring it out. Should have given it yep. to you straight. The, right, right. He watered it down, but he know damn well the wealth of this country was built on the backs of slaves. It was what two hundred and something years of free, free. slave right. labor. Bring it out for the free. Remember, it was a, that was a, a global free. economic, a global right. economy. Right on, right, That's built, how they, right on our back. That's how they got the uh, the uh, four hundred years a, a head start. Yeah, hell right, yeah, right. And, right. and and if it wasn't for um. Uh, Israel being here in captivity, building up spiritual Egypt, mm -hmm. just the same way we built up physical Egypt, America would be a third world country. Right, right, right. right. At of least course. a second world country. It might yeah. not be a third, but it'd at least be a second yeah. world country. Mm -hmm. Right. You would think it is place like uh, Norwegian, Norwe yeah. Norway, 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 or Norway. Norway. Yeah, right. <laughs> because look yeah. at look at majority of those patterns that they came out with that these multi billion dollar companies mm -hmm. have. Where did they originate from? Yeah. A lot of those inventors was slaves. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> like in banks, uh, I know Chase right. was built off Wells slave. Fargo. Right. Right. Wells right. Fargo, Wells Fargo was uh, who else? Bank of America. Bank of America. Oh, That's man. off of, they was insuring slaves. I knew right. they had slaves. Even, Bank even of the America got, they yeah, got I don't that. Like that. Bank of America either. Not, not only that, uh, Officer Lai, I thought you was about to mention it. Even when you're dealing with the health industry, when you're dealing yeah. with the health industry, uh, the medical apartheid, they used us uh, thinking that we didn't feel no pain so they, so they could do their procedures. Right. And yeah. after they do their procedures... They're able to be, uh, as far as the knowledge goes, they're able to be a couple steps ahead, closer to the solution. So that's how we help build up uh, this nation. Not only with that, with mathematics, the list goes on and on. The whole economy, even the um, the public uh, tra transportation, the roads. Oh yeah, because that's we, every time I was thinking about that today. I, every I rode past a, a bus station mm -hmm. and it was filled with nothing but us, man. Right, nothing yeah. but us. The hell is I was this? talking to um, Officer Haim today. And you know we was. You ever think about commissary, like sending you know uh, food to your loved ones that's locked up? Yeah. Mm. You know Esau blocks us from sending uh, care packages, things like that to your uh, people that's locked up. What do you mean? Blocks they up. monopolize Dang. on uh, oh. what they call the the commissary. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are it not allowed to, to do that. From them. It has to come from them. So that you, they control. So the only thing you could do is send money, so they can buy it from there them. But you, you can't send they, anything in that's yourself. It. They got wow. choices right. that you can only pick, and they have to build up right. to pick those. Right. So they monopolize the whole thing. Right. And, right. And that's the system. private. Um, Prison system, there you go. private right, right, industry go. that they got. Give me that in Ezekiel 28. Um, go back to the article real quick. I want to read that just so we don't forget what we're talking about. What I saw during my presidency was the politics of white resistance and resentment, the talk of welfare queens, and the talk of the undeserving. Wow. He said, I that, that damn, Obama keeping man. it real, lady. Come on, man. White yeah. resistors uh, talk of welfare queens and, and the, the undeserving poor and the backlash of affirmative action. 
Wow. So that means he was there behind the closed doors listening to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He heard evil. the racism on the job. And he couldn't do nothing about it. Give me that Ezekiel 28, oh. man. Ezekiel 28, I want to read uh, 3 and 4 because it talks about America in the Bible of how they got their wealth. Read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 28 and verse 3. Bring it out. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. God says that this white man is wiser than Daniel. What was right, Daniel? Right. Daniel was a scientist. Yeah. Right? Read on. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. That's through his technology, that stuff you call, uh, we went over it before, eagle eye. Mm. Right? It's eagle eye. Go ahead. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches. Gotten thee wealth. That's what Obama just said. Gotten wealth, gotten riches, built on the back of slaves. Read right. on. And has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. Into thy treasures. Read on verse 5. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic. By thy what? By thy traffic. That's what you were saying, Captain Gersh, that it was a global economic system. (laughs) By thy traffic. They did what? Has thou increased thy riches. Increased thy... Now go to Revelation 18. We're going to precept it. What was they trafficking to get their riches? Bring it out. That's why we said Four Corners News. We, we hear where truth speaks, man. That's we right. We're going to show you the Bible, a real book. Four Corners right. News. All right. Give me that. Revelation 18, and let's read verse uh, uh, 11 on down. The book of Revelations, chapter 18 and verse 11. Bring it out. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn merchants over Merchants go into what? Corporations yep. that sell, that buy, that traffic. Go ahead. For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Now, let's see how they got riches. Go ahead. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood. And all thine. Who was who was picking all of this stuff? The fine, right fine linen. Mm-hmm. Who was doing that? That was the slaves that was doing that. The scarlet, the purple, the pearls. Remember, they used to have us... Um, Dive, uh, Christopher Columbus would have Northern Kingdom dive into the damn ocean and go to the bottom of the sea and search for pearls oh, yeah, and bring the them back up. Yep. The hell is this? whole bunch of our people died doing that. Can't hold your breath that long no. as far down as you got to go. They didn't give a damn. Didn't give a damn. As long as they got that, them riches. Yeah. Read on. And all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble, Read on. and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots. So those beasts, those sheep, and those horses, you got animals here in America that ain't even native mm. to out. America. Yeah. Right. right. Yep. They out. in the damn zoo, right. and Esau is paying uh, uh, he is charging people to right. come look at animals that don't yeah, even belong on this yeah. continent. Right. Right. The right. damn animals are oppressed. There you go. Right. A zoo, the only purpose of a zoo is for your self entertainment, your self pleasure. There you go. It's nothing beneficial of a zoo. No, not at all. You can go out to the wild and learn of it, but now you're telling me Esau said no. That's your prize animal. I'm taking it and bringing it to yep. my land. Okay, come, come give us that money to increase our riches. riches. That's and a it's a zoo, zoo. in every damn state, in every city. They done Man. stole a whole bunch of lions from wow. Africa. Right. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till them damn lions get free with them bombs <laughs> drop. They <laughs> running straight for Esau. Yep. Oh, they go see Jake. They be like, nah, nah, you good with me. <laughs> right. Get out of their way. Move out the way. Move, nigga. Let me get your arm. <laughs> get that damn eat a bite. <laughs> Read on in that verse 13 again. And beasts, and sheep, and horses, uh-huh. and chariots, and slaves. And what? Mm. And slaves. Uh huh. And souls of men. And souls of man is how this place got its wealth. Yeah. God calls this place what? Babylon, Babylon. the Great. That's. Damn. Bible's a true book, man. True book. Land of confusion. Land of confusion. But this is how they got rich off the backs of slaves. Let's go back to that real quick. Let's read that. What I saw during my presidency was the politics of white resistance and resentment. The talk of welfare queens. Wow. And the talk. So this is what they be talking about in the White House. Go ahead. And the talk of the undeserving poor. 
and the backlash against affirmative action. Hey, I guarantee you that Sleepy Joe is in there having the same conversation. Because right, right, right. right. Obama was a Democrat, so it was Democrats in there. Yeah. Sleepy Joe a Democrat, so it's Democrats in there. And it's Republicans. They still have the same conversations. Come on, Kevin. Go ahead, officer. You know what you got to realize is how bad the lash has gone into our back. You got to wait till you get out of office for you to even start talk, mentioning of all Damn, the oppression good that's, point. that comes out mm. of, like, you know, that's going on with our people. Yeah, right? yeah. Right. But when you're in office, when you're in the white man's order, you're perfectly silent and you're perfectly right. in order. Right. He mm. had to be politically correct there while he was go. in office. His whole term, right. but now... All it just shows is that he's we. No matter how far, how low, or how high you go, you yeah. are still nigga. Yeah. Damn, still yeah. nigga. You telling me they probably uh, uh, drop a, a JFK um, a letter on his breakfast table? Don't say nothing stupid. Yeah, right, right. As they gave him right. uh, his English muffin in there the morning and his orange juice. <laughs> Here's right. your breakfast, Mr. Yeah. President, and the note came with it. Boom. Don't say nothing stupid don't today. Don't be stupid. We got a sniper out there waiting. There you go. Right. Hey, hey, Cap, I, 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 he folded I, I, his newspaper <laughs> up and. Thank you, uh, right. uh, thank you, uh, uh, Jerome. <laughs> what the hell is this? Went on his marriage. Hey, I wouldn't put it past them because remember what they did in Haiti um, with um, what's his name, Aristide. Aristide. Like they yeah, came yeah. in in the middle of the night. They had a plane already loaded for him, him and his whole family. Yeah. Remember Aristide, Brazil. That's it. They warned him several times already. They warned him, "Oh, you you still fighting for the people? You still don't want to pull uh, democracy? What's going on?" And then he kept fighting for the people. So. They warned him several times, and finally, they put the bag over his face and dragged him out of here. Let's yeah. go. You got to go. Don't come back till we tell you to. There That's you what go. happened, there man. That's called power. That's <laughs> power. Yeah, that is real hey, power. And, and also, too, um, um, on the flip side of this, you know, Obama had to wait till he get out till he spoke a little bit of truth. Right, right. They still telling LeBron, shut the hell up and mm. dribble. Go right. to that next article right here, here oh, to show um, they don't want... They don't want uh, black people to speak no. on behalf of black people at all. No. Just let them Negroes suffer in silence and let them get riled up every once in a while mm -hmm. and then they'll die back down. But don't keep that in the forefront of their mind. And that's what they're trying to tell LeBron to do. Right. Go to that article. Let's read that real quick, soldier. Why does LeBron James have to keep telling white people he will not <laughs> shut up and dribble. He has to keep telling because they keep on telling. Hey, LeBron, you're talking too much. Right. You got too many followers on Instagram. Right. You can influence too many people. We paying you all that money. And we paying you all that money. <laughs> we, we can't touch you, LeBron, because I, the whole NBA is built on your back. Yeah. Right. Right. Damn. Oh. If we blackballed you, that whole economy is going down. Right. So <laughs> just, just be so quiet. Just dribble. Yeah. Just, just dribble. dribble. That's just the oh, witty... Really? Go ahead, go read ahead, read the ahead. whole title, though. What, you read the whole title? Yeah, go back to it. Read it again. Why does LeBron James have to keep telling white people he will not shut up and dribble? Uh -huh. This time, it's a the fellow, fellow athlete. athlete. No, fellow <laughs> athlete, a white dude, uh, told him to shut the hell up. So they, had it. they right. warned him, they warned him, they said, you know what? It probably sounds better right. coming from a co-worker. <laughs> right. <laughs> a, a colleague. <laughs> That's what the supervisor do, right? That's what they do. He calls somebody off. Hey, won't you tell tell your coworkers out there to relax, <laughs> and we'll have a piece of party right. on Friday right. if everybody shows up on time from Monday to Thursday. Right. Can you do that for me? If you do that. There's big things lying ahead of you. <laughs> right. Cap, I smell promotions. <laughs> they just reenacting the oh, Willie Lynch man. letter. How, you know, it, th their, their philosophy is to keep us uh, mentally weak and physically, physically strong. strong. Yeah. And, right. that, yeah, and that's, that's what, what that you're is. seeing here. Yeah. And every time the media brings it up and the backlash that comes behind it is a message subconsciously towards other people that's that thinks like him. Yeah. Hey, listen. This is yeah. what's gonna happen Silence to you. You're gonna everybody. lose you go. your endorse yeah. your endorsement, like Colin Kaepernick. You're gonna lose yeah. your endorsement. Yeah. Nick Cannon. You, Nick Cannon. Right, you will right. never be back in this position yeah. unless uh, Deshaun you, Jackson. They was great. One. Cut him. Whew. And even in even in his uh, interview, uh, when he had replied to the uh, athlete that told him to shut up and dribble, uh -huh. he even had to state that, "Listen, I study." I'm aware of what's going on with my. Hey, people. let's go to that. They don't video. even expect them to do. To, let's to go to that, that video while you wow. mention that. Go go back to that article and let's scroll down to the video of where they did the interview and let's see what LeBron said. Scroll down, right there. Let's play that real quick. LeBron's go response. For a second, um, Zlatan, the soccer player, said that he believes that famous people and athletes such as yourself 
shouldn't use their platform to do anything other than what they're good at in their athletic endeavor. Shut As up someone who has promoted the idea of more than an athlete and, and trying to empower uh, players to, to, to use their voice to speak on their communities, do you have any response to what he said? Nah, uh, absolutely not. I mean, because at the end of the day, um, you know, I would never uh, shut up about things that's, um, that's wrong. Um, I, I preach about my people and I preach about, uh, you know, equality, um, social injustice, racism, um, you know, sy systematic uh, uh, voting, uh, voter suppression, um, things that go on in our community um, because I was a part of my community at one point and there seeing things go. that was going on and I know the Pause you know, it real quick. Still yeah. because I have Now I will commend LeBron yeah. on that, man. Yeah. Yeah, the right. money he ain't forgot where he came from. Right. Bring it out. Right. That is one thing that that he does different than uh, what's the dude's name? Uh, Jordan, right? Yeah. That uh, LeBron and got. He built a school back where he come from. Yeah. He got all the low income kids schools. Uh, kids come to his school. They get rides there. They get rides home. Um, all that type. He put. He's put like a hundred, two hundred kids yeah. through college. Yeah. He's paid all their tuition so they get a degree. Then they go into the world debt-free. So he's done all of that type of stuff. And uh, I think all Jordan did was built a, a, a health care center to go get um, uh, COVID shots. Damn. Are Damn. you kidding me? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. He did, a, he did that. Oh, wow. And he did that. Oh, and invested in prison. I, I no, nah, that ain't. I looked that up. That ain't. That ain't. That, it's a white dude named Michael Jordan that did oh, that. It ain't, it ain't did the what? Dude that invested in prisons. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a white dude named Michael Jordan that invested oh, in prisons. Man. But oh, the amazing. same name, so it get, it get misconstrued. Oh. But all he did was build that. that I guess whatever you call it, that uh, uh, urgent care. Right. You know they give it out co corona shots like uh, crazy That's up in right. there. You know but, but he ain't forgot shoes? where he came from. He ain't get, forgot his no, people. No. I commend him on that. Hey, man. That's one thing because I, I really felt bad because a lot of these athletes they fell a long way from you. Know, you got examples like Muhammad Ali. Yeah, right? yeah, he, yeah. He yeah, stood man. up for the people. He did. Great example. Right. Yep. Right. He 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 took it was what they banned him from boxing for there three years because he said go. ain't what he say ain't no. Via Kong ever call me, nigga. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere <laughs> to nowhere. fight for you. But hey, there, we ain't got, that kind of, we ain't got people like that no, no. more was, now. It was a meme I seen, um, I think it was on Instagram. And like what the media is trying to do with LeBron, it was a meme and it said you could be a doctor, you could be a lawyer, yeah. you could be a rapper, you could be a basketball player, but being a leader was X'd out. Yeah. You yeah. can't Damn. be a leader for your people. Damn. Yep. Yep, they won't Ooh. let you do that. Um, go go back to the article. I want to show something on this article real quick that the writer did. It was real. It was a good point they brought out. Um, with this, go back to the article and let's scroll down on that real quick. I'm gonna show you something here. Uh, keep going. It's right underneath this. Uh, keep going. It's right there where it says. So here's the first thing. Let's read that. So here's the first thing that always pisses me off about this narrative. Racism isn't a political issue. It's a social one. A white man does that. He makes it politics when it comes to racism. Go ahead. Only in the minds of white people who enjoy the privilege of never having experienced systematic racism is the fight for racial equality and the recognition of black humanity's political issue. Everything mm. is political with the white man. You know yeah. why? Because politics is his religion. There you go. Right. Yep. Politics right. is the right. white man's religion. Yes, he lives is. and he dies by mm. that thing. That's why he goes to war over politics. Oh, right. You can bring it out. And not only he's that, he's defending his religion. Yeah. Not only that, he even have a campaign against the war on drugs. Yeah, yeah. He used that as his uh, political campaign yeah. strategy. It wasn't a fight against drugs. No. It was the war against war. drugs. The war. Man, Go back to it. Go back to that article real quick, and uh, let's jump down to secondly. Let's read that. Secondly. It is weird that white people assume that if a black person is rich and are famous... That's what I wanted to get to. Go ahead. There's no reason for them to care about the millions of black people who are still vulnerable to systematic racism. Mm, you wow. know why? You know why to white people they assume that? Because their religion is politics. Are y'all staying with me back here? Bring it out! Their religion is politics and their God is money. Dang. Yes. Damn! Damn! Yeah. That's what it is. Oh, Religion is their politics and God is their money. Man. So if you got money, Negro, <laughs> you should not be talking about the yeah, oppressed black go. people. Right. We right. gave you a piece right. of our God. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> and his cold. face is on the bill. Right. <laughs> yeah. So when you speak against that, you spoke against their temple. Damn. Oh, damn. Hey, that's I'm telling y'all you, man. Y'all cooking, y'all cooking, y'all cooking old there. blooded oh, right there, man. Y'all look cooking today. Satan is on the cold. Hey, give me that First Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. To show you that no matter how much money you got, you ain't supposed to forget where you come from. Mm. The money that you do have, it ultimately comes from the Most High anyway, right? right? That he's allowing you to even live to have that type of money, but you should be using it to help your people. Mm. Read that, 1 Timothy 6, and read 17, 18. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6 and verse 17. Bring it out. Charge them that are rich in this world. In this world, go ahead. That they be not high-minded. That they don't forget where they come from. Right. That's what that means. Don't forget where you come from. Being all uppity. Yeah. We moved to. We moved on up and we forgot the niggas that we left down there. Mm. No, you ain't supposed to do that. Read on. Nor trust in uncertain riches. Cause why? They could be done. They can. You know what they can do? They can hit that button wherever Bring they are and take all your money in the bank yeah. account. Oh right. yeah. That's right. uncertain riches. Yeah. Right. And uh, that's for you crypto. Uh, mm. hey, oh, hey. Hey. Crypto okay, you, you, you were just about to touch it because I was about to say the same thing because in this current uh, uh, system or this current society, everything is not run off of, you know, how, how it's supposed to be. Gold, uh, gold, 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 yeah. gold currency. Now everything is ran off of IOU. Digital. All, digital, everything yeah. is digital and IOU. They just put the credit on your account. All yeah. they just got to do is just boop. Hit that button and zeros. it's over. It's Zero. uncertain riches. It's gone. Right. And you know how we, we know that? Whenever natural disaster hit, right. what happened? Right. The banks shut down. Yeah. The ATMs yep. is gone. And if Bring you ain't out. got no cash, mm. oh, you ain't stocked up, yeah. it don't matter how much money you right. got. You can't get to it. Right. right. That's right. uncertain riches. Don't trust in it. Read on in that. But in the living God. That's who we trust in. Read on. Who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Read that they do good, that they be rich in good works. That's who, if you're rich, be rich in good works. Not just have money and, and say, and then, you know, call it a day right. and wait on death. No, you got to have good works behind that. But who are the good works supposed to be applied to? Read on. Ready to distribute, willingly to communicate. Willing mm. to communicate, ready to distribute. Right. To who? To the poor of your people. Right. right. You don't just sit right. on the money and, and let it get there. What are they, how much does your money get in the bank every year if you let it sit? Does anybody know? Because I ain't got it's no money it, to it, let I ain't got enough money to let it sit. So I don't know if it how, if it grow I, interest I, or not. It, sh- it barely grows interest, like I 0.01. Shit. Listen, if y'all I'm if, hand to mouth, man. If you let right. your money I'm out sit, here trying to survive, <laughs> dog. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. You letting your money right. sit, that means I, I gotta check your genealogy, man. <laughs> <laughs> you not Israel. I ain't got no interest. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody talk to us. Facebook, YouTube. How much does it does got, your money grow? Because nobody up here obviously nah. knows. <laughs> who, who, who got money sitting? Yeah, somebody said 0.5. 0.5, that's 5. a guess. If I, oh, that brother got a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He got money sitting. Yeah. He's he looking where he's sitting. Somebody yeah. knows. <laughs> does, does no Israelite know? It doesn't grow. Oh, it doesn't wow. grow. oh the, the, the banker has spoken. Right. The banker has spoken. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, the tax grow. guy. The tax guy. The tax guy <laughs> has spoken. <laughs> Damn. So Damn, it, so the money that is given to us by the most high, be ready to distribute it to the poor to help them survive this captivity right. as we all trust in the Lord and wait on the second coming of our Lord and Savior, yes, Jesus the Christ. That's, That's right. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.